It's Two Minute Tuesday and today we're going to make smoked beef jerky in the pit barrel cooker. And the best part is we won't use Worcestershire or soy sauce and it's ready in one hour. Here are the ingredients needed for this recipe and I'll put the list in the description so you'll have it for later. Two pounds lean top round thin sliced, quarter cup of water, two tablespoons of sea salt, three tablespoons of brown sugar, three tablespoons of molasses, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, a bottle of stout or dark beer, and two chunks of hickory or mesquite wood. So let's get started making the jerky. To make cutting the beef easier, put the meat into the freezer for about a half an hour. This will firm up the meat, making it easier to cut. Now cut the top round into one inch strips. Combine all the ingredients in a large Ziploc freezer bag and add the meat. Seal it, shake it around so that the meat is all coated and place it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Every time you go to the refrigerator to get something, turn the meat by flipping the bag or whenever you think about it. It has been 24 hours and we're ready to make the jerky. Pull the jerky out of the refrigerator and let it warm up to room temperature. While the meat is warming, start your pit barrel cooker by filling the charcoal basket to the top of the handle. Then add the starter fluid, place the basket into the cooker, and light the charcoal. When the charcoal is ashed over, place the lid on the cooker and wait 30 minutes. This gives the cooker a chance to stabilize. While the pit barrel cooker is warming, Remove the beef strips from the marinade and pat them dry with paper towels. Push the beef onto skewers, leaving an air gap between the beef so that the smoke and the heat can get evenly around them. We can, we can get about eight strips on each skewer. Add the two wood chunks to the charcoal. Place the skewed beef on the rebar so you can get approximately eight skewers next to each other. Now put the lid on it. It will take approximately an hour for the meat to become jerky. Check it every 30 minutes as the jerky will dry out quickly. Now that it has been about an hour, let's pull the beef jerky and give it a taste. Allow the jerky to cool. You can store it in the refrigerator, but honestly, it tastes so good it will not even make it to the fridge. Well, there you have it. A tasty beef jerky that is easy to make and that your friends and family will beg you for. Help me get to a thousand subscribers by liking and sharing this video with a friend and also subscribing to my channel. Since you're already there, go ahead and click that bell icon so that you can get notified of any updates. Let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite part of this video. And if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below as well. I'm Berlin Birch. I'll see you next time.